everyone gifted so here i am going to be doing a review of the red hop love oracle gifted to me by a very special friend of mine v from v love and crystals you guys know that i've worked with her on several collabs and we are going to be doing more so keep an eye out for that um she's given me a lot of beautiful decks whether they're created by her or there's decks that she has in her collection that she doesn't vibe with anymore she'll pass them down to me or anybody else that she feel like would like them and i again want to say i appreciate her very much um for doing that she doesn't have to and guys i do not ask it's just a gift she's a very giving person um and i appreciate her very much and yeah she is a very good friend i like to say we're close friends as well um hopefully one day when all of this stuff in the world goes down and we're able to do it you know do more traveling and stuff like that i would like to be able to actually meet her in person one day if she is down for that so um but yeah so v loving crystals the red hot love oracle so she put it in this uh beautiful green organza bag um and yeah and i feel like actually you know what people might say that that doesn't match i don't think so because i'm not saying i don't think it matches i'm saying i don't think that people should think that but you know who am i to tell people what to think anyways gifted soul is going on about whatever at this point but if you're really into like the spiritual realm and stuff and chakras speaking of chakras how do you guys say that do you say chakra i hear people saying chakra all the time it makes me feel like i'm saying it wrong because i say chakra so let me know if there's a correct way to say that i've always said chakra um and i, I hear people saying it that way but then like i said I, I hear a few people in between saying chakra and i'll just be like okay i hope i'm saying it right because in the videos that i mentioned chakra in I say chakra I don't want to look you know crazy but anyway but green is the heart chakra I don't know if she thought of that when she put that in here because I think she selects random bags um or like if you ask for a specific color she'll do that but we have heart chakra with a red lot heart with the red hot, Jesus I don't know I get kind of confuzzled when i try to say this the name of this deck the red hot love oracle i believe okay and i'm sorry if i said it wrong i think i said it right but it's a tongue twister sometimes so beautiful so i have the glossy edition i think this might have been uh it's the same cards uh, but she does you know test on her decks before she puts them out for sale and stuff like that so um i think this is the first copy she had if i make no mistake because i think she ended up choosing a different card stock um and texture before she put those out for sale but i do have the glossy edition i'm not sure if i'm correct on that but um i just remember in her video she when she first put out a re um, reveal on her channel of the deck she was talking about how the cards were glossy and she didn't like i don't know maybe i'm confusing something with something else but yeah so that's the back just plain edges you can edge them if you want i'm probably not going to i know v she modifies a lot of her decks even her own creations i feel like i'm just gonna make it look a mess so i'm not gonna bother that but i think it's perfect as is i believe this is 40 cards 40 or 41 if i'm not mistaken um mine did not come in alphabetical order but i believe when you order yours you will have not only an organza bag again i don't know what color i think she does random colors and i think at one point she allowed for a certain quantity of people to uh, tell her what color bag they wanted as well i'm going to also link down below where you can get this deck it's going to be on v's etsy shop the red hot love oracle along with many of her other creations um so i'll link this one down in particular and also just her etsy shop if that may help better but anyway 
But yeah, I think it comes in alphabetical order. Mine didn't. I have been using this. So even if I did have it in alphabetical order, it would not be in alphabetical order right now. Uh, so yeah. So there's a theme here. We have, it's a red theme. Okay. Um, of course. We have, she has some hearts down here. I actually like this. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so we have the keyword or whatever word here to focus on. Then you have the image. So this one is ex lover and spying. Ooh, I'm saying that like I ain't even seen through these cards, but sometimes you kind of forget the cards that are in here and it's just like you're seeing it for the first time. But communication, intimacy romance the one i hope i'm not flipping through these too quickly but breakthrough yes indeed declaration of love extremities good fortune if i'm not those look like crystals i hope i'm not wrong but we have performance the red curtain you know but we have savage i thought that was a cute idea okay so we have restraints i'm just now know is that abraham lincoln let me know if i'm like losing my mind but i think that's abraham lincoln it looks like him i don't know but like i said you would think i would rem yeah Anyway, union, yes, trust, love that there's a dog here, love, love, love. So I'm not like an animal, listen, I have my off days with animals. I either love them or they can kind of be aggravating, just a little bit, sometimes. I did have a puppy growing up, but he died when I was little. I don't even want to get into how because I kind of still don't know. I kind of know how, but it it's a childish story, basically. I may tell that story one day. I don't know, but his name was Chubby, and yeah, he's one of the puppies I had growing up. So we have avoidance, a walk or walk a mile, happiness work in progress absolutely you got the buttons it looks like you have it looks like i don't know if that's yarn or thread but there's a glitter the staple you're working things piecing things together one by one piece by piece so work in progress nightlife yep risk love that she chose dice for that apology she's gesturing a snowflake um pretty sure it's probably like an ornament because obviously a real snowflake is not going to look like that huge or even really i don't know but yeah so no show hollow i need to put this back out because of the no show card and i'm gonna i don't remember exactly what she said about the two but she does uh mention in her video that two specific cards you may get the same messages from when you're reading from them but they actually kind of do have different messages apart from each other at the same time hollow toxic we have a pepper separation scissors that's very clever strategy so as you can see all the cards have this little heart thing down here i don't know what to call it but strategy fertility old-fashioned this card has come up a lot and i was really drawn to this card before i even got this deck also for some reason i don't know why but um silence beginnings and another thing too guys is i'm not a big fan of the color red but i actually really love it in this deck I like red. I'm not saying I don't like red, but I'm saying it's not something like if I were to go in the store and choose between a blue prime, let me not say blue before people think I'm, okay. 
I think you know what I'm trying to say. If I had to choose between a green prom dress and a red prom dress, I would... Green is not my... Well, actually, yes, it was. For a while, growing up, green was one of my favorite colors. But either way it goes, I would probably have picked green over red, basically, just as an example. Um, but in this, it, it works in some occasions, like this deck. It, it actually goes very well, and I do like it. Reconciliation. So I'm definitely going to be using this. We have mind games. We have incompatibility. And it looks, I don't, that's glitter, I think. That's cool. Um, yeah. Secrets. Have that mask. We have solitude. Disappearing act, which is uh, the card that I was talking about. The no show in the disappearing act. Um, and then we have blinded so yeah um and they because they're glossy they do slip and slide but again i don't think anybody else is going to unless in, uh she's already given it to you or i don't think she sold glossy copies i think i may have the very first one she uh was testing out with um but they do shuffle pretty well i'm gonna try to i don't know if you could see that but they shuffle pretty good to me um i don't, I love gloss so it's not a unless like it depends because like when i'm filming a video or something sometimes the gloss could be irritating but it depends on like your setup and stuff so um but so far this isn't bothering me um so we have no show and disappearing act i kind i forget what she says about these two um, but she does say that they do um, have different meanings. They do have the same meanings at the same time, but they are different as well. Um, so, pretty much this is ghosting, basically. And then this here is when, like, somebody promises you they're, you're going to go on a date or something. And then they just, you sit there, you're waiting all night, you're waiting... They may not be texting, they may not be answering you back, telling you, or you're sitting there telling them that you're there, and then they just don't show up, things like that. But it's something, other things that she says, so do watch her video on this deck as well to see exactly what she says about it. I think I'm on the right track, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, she does uh, mention these two cards in particular, their differences and their similarities, so do check her uh, video out. Um but yeah that is the red hot love oracle by v from v love and crystals i love you girl thank you again for all of the decks you've given me and most importantly i appreciate our friendship to the moon and back you have no idea i tell her this all the time but i feel like i can never say it enough um and yeah everybody go support v love and crystals subscribe if you haven't um and like I said, go watch her uh, video on this deck as well. If I can find it, I will link it down below too. Um, but yeah, so go pick you up a copy of the Red Hot Love Oracle, especially if you love doing love readings for yourself or and for other people. So, but yeah, definitely a must have in terms of love oracle deck so i wish you guys love and light i hope that you guys are staying safe out there you're being blessed you're happy take care and i hope that we can connect again in the next one love and light